Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I want to talk about the Toyota Tacoma lift. But before we get into that, I have made a decision on the grill. I am going to be changing out the grill on the front of the truck. You know, I made a video recently about this, and it involved going back to the OEM of that one right up there, the insert, of course, not the blue surround. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to take that out and we're going to put that on and it gives me the ability, if I want to, I think, because of the different setup, you notice this one is solid across here. This one has an opening down below. I can add another LED light bar if I want to. And I know a lot of people think I might be going overboard with the lights, but I have the light bar, so why not use it? And I think having another one right up above there will give me sun-style lights coming out of the front of the truck. In other words, it's going to be pretty darn bright. But that's not what I really wanted to talk about today. You know, we have the redesigned Tacoma coming. And I don't know why I never thought of this before. It's been troubling me a little bit. And that is the ability to lift the new Tacoma. You know, I don't want to put a block and spacer on particularly, although that may be what I end up with. I'll tell you why in a minute. But I, for some reason, thought I would have trouble lifting the truck. You know, what am I going to do? Am I going to have to go after market, change the suspension? Can you even change the suspension on the new truck? And is it even wise to do so? Well, I had an epiphany. Uh, you know, Toyota offers a lift now. I believe it's on, I think, the TRD versions and above. I'm not exactly sure. In other words, I don't know if you can get the OEM, if you will, lift from Toyota on any trim level below the TRD. But regardless, they offer a lift. Duh. So why not go with the OEM lift from Toyota? Now, the only issue there is, is I'm not quite sure yet, because of course we really know nothing about the new truck, but I'm not quite sure if Toyota is going to offer the lift on that truck. In other words, will it be available on the redesigned version? Now, here is a rendering. It's just a black and white pick, right? And you can see it does look to me, if you look at the gapping, in the uh, wheel well areas here, it does look like it's a bit higher anyway. Now, I realize this is just a rendering. It could be anything. But when I look at these areas as compared to what we currently have, keep in mind, I am lifted on the front of this. It does have about a 1.79 inch lift or so just to level the truck out. But in the back, it is not lifted at all. If you look back here and you look at that wheel gapping, pretty narrow really, as compared to what I have on the wall over there. In other words, this, you can see it does look substantially taller in the back. Now, a couple of reasons for that, I think. Either it's just a simple rendering and we don't know what it's really gonna look like and I'm kind of leaning that way, or the new truck is going to come a bit higher anyway. Now, if they're going to do that, I'm not sure if that's just the normal setup or maybe they've actually shown a version lifted up with the Toyota lift. I mean, if you have it, why would you not include it on everything that you put out from a marketing standpoint so that you get people wanting the truck to look that way? Obviously, there would be lower trim levels that don't have that, but it makes me a, a little bit more confident that Toyota is indeed going to offer their lift on the new truck. In other words, carry it on from what they're currently doing. And there are some advantages to that. You know, number one, I have more confidence in the manufacturer or even the dealership doing the lift than I do going to an aftermarket. You know, when I had the lift done on this truck, I believe that they did not tighten down the brake caliper on the passenger side. I say that because after I had the shocks put in, which give me my lift, they were loose, the one on the passenger side. It was bouncing around. I finally figured it out myself. I tightened the bolts and all was good. 
but it's just an example of the risk you run by having someone uh, other than the dealership do the job. And I realize the dealership could have done the same thing, but you would hope they're a little bit more knowledgeable or careful when they do these installs than the aftermarketers are. Secondly, and this is the biggest thing, it, it comes with warranty. I mean, if you buy it when you buy the truck, or even after the fact, you're gonna have warranty on it from the dealership, from the manufacturer, and I like that. One thing I've been wondering though, can you get that lift installed from the manufacturer? In other words, if you order the truck, which I'm thinking about doing on this next version, can you have it done from the factory? Or is it simply an aftermarket accessory that you have no choice and you have to have it done at the dealership? I would prefer to have it done from the factory, but either way, it's something I would still have done even if it's at the dealership level uh, and done after the truck actually arrives. The other thing is what kind of a lift are you gonna get? I mean, Toyota doesn't offer multiple lifts. They have one set version, you get what you get, and that's it. How high is it gonna be? I think the lift you get from them now is about, I think it's about one to two inches, inch and a half, something like that. So you really couldn't go higher. Not sure that I'd want to, although in the back of my mind, I still have this dream of having a six inch lifted truck with big poking out wheels and tires, and you know, all that stuff. But I think I'd be happy with that anyway. After all, I only have about an inch and uh, almost an inch and three quarter lift on this truck now. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks awesome on the truck. So I would be happy with that. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. Uh, it's definitely something that I'm gonna do. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Definitely gonna go with the OEM lift, if you will. I'm just more confident in it. And it solves my dilemma of going to a shop and hoping that everything is done correctly and I don't have any issues after the fact. Leave a comment, let me know. Particularly if you've had this lift done yourself, you'll have to excuse the tree cutting in the background. We have a tree out there, I guess the neighbors are cutting down or something. But anyway, leave a comment, let me know. If you've had this Toyota lift done, are you happy with it? Did it come out okay and is it high enough for you? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.